First tonight at 10, we have seen it over and over. Drivers in St. Louis running red lights, putting themselves and others in danger. This just this week, this crash on Jefferson Avenue left two motorcyclists dead. Police telling us they think that this was another case of running a red light. Well, now residents in that area are fed up and they're taking things into their own hands. Our John Kipper explains. This intersection just always, always has a lot of traffic and a lot of problems. Derek Kilgore with the Benton Park Neighborhood Association bemoaning the intersection at Arsenal and Wimp. People, they don't really care. An intersection not as busy as some of the more notorious intersections in town, but one that illustrates bad driving in the city of St. Louis. Every infraction that you can really kind of think of. That's Aaron Shai, Kilgore's wife. The couple, along with around four other Benton Park residents, recently conducted a volunteer traffic study. From noon to two in the afternoon on Saturday, they watched for traffic violations. Within the first minute, we had four infractions. Julie Stoner also joined the crew. It did surprise me how many people we caught. Here's what they found in a two hour period. 92 red light runners, 31 speeders, and 23 drivers who went straight from the left turn lane, cutting off drivers. The first alert four even noticed a driver cutting off somebody during Stoner's interview. Now, Kilgore says to help alleviate some of the issues at this intersection, the city did add this bump out recently, but you can tell it's already well worn from drivers going on top of it. Within days, that was that side was already torn up. Kilgore's crew will come back to the intersection one more time to get more videos of illegal driving like this and then present their results to the city. I just like to see some sort of enforcement or improvement or get someone in to look at redesigning the intersection. All with the goal to avoid incidents like in April when Gus's pretzels was smashed by a vehicle. And more importantly, aiming to slow vehicles down in a heavy pedestrian area. That's a major issue, especially when you have people in the crosswalks. The crew will be back Friday during rush hour. In Benton Park, John Kipper, First Alert 4. Kilgore also says if the city doesn't listen, they'll continue to do these studies and present evidence until they do.